I welcome you all to the lecture series on economic botany. In today's lecture, you are going to understand about the origin, distribution, cultivation, and uses of cumin. The botanical name of cumin is Cuminum siminum. It belongs to the family APAC. The common names are Jira, Jira, Zira, Safai, Jira, Jirgam, Zira, Jirigi. The part used is fruit. Cumin is the dried white fruit with grayish brown color of a small slender annual herb. Cumin seeds impart distinctive strong flavor and warm precipitation on taste buds. This comes from certain group of essential oils in them. It is used in the cooking of many different cultures in both old or ground form. It also has many uses as a traditional medicinal plants. Cumin is a native of Egypt. Syria, Turkey, and the Eastern Mediterranean region. It is an important cash crop of India, Argentina, Cyprus, Denmark, Mexico, Russia, Pakistan, Syria, Iran, Morocco, Turkey, China, Southern Russia, Indonesia, and Japan. Iran is the major world exporter of the cumin seed known as green cumin. In India, it is cultivated on a commercial scale in Rajasthan, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, and to some extent in Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, and Madhya Pradesh. Gujarat is the leading cumin seed producing state in India. Coming to the cultivation of the cumin. Cumin is a tropical plant it grows well in subtropical climate too. High humidity during flowering and fruit set causes fungal diseases in this crop. Cumin can be cultivated in all types of soils but well drained sandy loam and medium soils are suitable for the crop. Sowing is done from first week of November to first week of December by broadcasting or in rows drilled at 30 cm. Seed rate vary from 12 to 15 kg per hectare depending upon method of sowing and types of soil. Sowing of seeds should be done at the depth of 1 to 2 cm after treatment with sarazen or tira or defaultan. Soaking of seeds for 8 hours before sowing is helpful in getting good germination. Soaked seeds should be dried in shade to facilitate broadcasting.
sowing at high depth affect the germination of seeds adversely. Crop rotation should be followed to avoid incidents of pests and diseases. After, after the sowing, just prepare the land for the plantation. Soil is brought to fine till by two to three plugging of the harrow or daisy plug. Stubbles of previous crops should be collected and removed from the field. Plots should be broken and field should be leveled with the help of plank. Beds of 4 meter into 3 meter size with previous of irrigation channels should be prepared before sowing of seeds to facilitate proper irrigation and interculture operations. After that, apply the menus and fertilizers to the bed. 15 to 20 metric tons of farmyard manure, 30 kg nitrogen, 15 kg phosphorus per hectare is recommended for cumin crop. All quantity of farmyard manure should be mixed into the soil at the time of land preparation and 15 kg nitrogen and all quantity of phosphorus should be applied as basal dose. Another 15 kg nitrogen should be applied as top dressing one month after germination of seeds. The crop should be kept free from weeds for proper growth and development of plants. Generally, two to three hand weeding are required to keep the weeds under check. In drilled crop, light intercultural operation is beneficial. First weeding and weeding should be done after 30 to 40 days from the date of sowing. Based on type of soil, crop requires 4 to 6 irrigations. First, light irrigation should be given immediately after sowing and second irrigation should be given after 6 to 10 days from first irrigation. Subsequent irrigation should be given after 30, 45, 65 and 80 days from first irrigation. Irrigation at the time of flowering and the fruit set are essential. At maturity, at maturity stage, irrigation should be stopped. Then protect the plant from some of the pests and diseases. Aphids, leaf eater caterpillar are the common pest in this plant. Aphid is a major pest of cumin crop. It sucks the sap of tender parts and reduces the yield. Spraying, dimeter and methyl demotum or monocrotophus is, is to control the aphid. Next one is a leaf eating caterpillar. This pest causes damage to the foliage of plants, reducing yield of the crop. It can be controlled by spraying of phosphodiol in the early stage of crop. Fusarium wilt is the fungal disease which affect the yield of the cumin. Infected plants show peculiar symptoms of drooping of tips and leaves. 
leading to mortality of the entire plant. Attack of wilt is severe if in the plants there is no chemical control for this disease. Crop rotation and use of neem cake are helpful in checking spread of the fungus disease. Seeds collected from disease free plots should only be used for sowing. The next disease is Alternaria blight. The blight affected plants show very minute brownish necrotic spots which later turn to blackish. Mostly diseased plants fail to produce seeds. If seeds are produced, they are remain shriveled, light in weight and dark in color. For the control of this disease, seed treatment and spraying of detail M45 four times at 10 days interval commencing from 14 days after sowing is recommended. Add 1 ml soap solution per liter of water for better efficiency of fungicide. The crop should be kept free from weeds, crops requiring more irrigation and mustard crop should not be grown in vicinity of this crop. Next fungal disease is powdery mildew disease. Affected plants in early stages show minute whitish spots on leaves, petiole, stem pedicel and seeds. In severe condition, it looks as the plants have been dusted with pow white powder. At later stage of attack, seeds become white, shriveled and light in color. Crop should be dusted with 300 mesh sulfur dust to control this disease as soon as the symptoms are noticed. Spraying of vegetable sulfur or dinoca can also be used to control the disease at the initial stage of this disease. If needed, second spray should be given 15 to 20 days after first spray. The next aspect is harvesting. Generally, human crop takes about 110 to 115 days to reach maturity. Crop becomes ready to harvest when plants turn yellowish brown. Harvesting should be done early in the morning by cutting or uprooting the old plants. Harvesting crop should be dried in the threshing yard. Thrash it to separate the seeds. Seeds should be cleaned by winnowing. The last aspect is economic uses of humic. Cumin seed was widely used as food flavoring agent. It is little used at present in western cooking though it is very commonly employed in India. A hot and aromatic flavor, it is an important ingredient in curries it is used as a seasoning in soup and stews and it is also often used as a flavoring in biscuits, cakes and bread where it also helps in improving the digestion. An essential oil from the seed is used as a food flavoring. Cumin 
is an aromatic astringent hull that benefits the digestive system and act as a stimulant to the sexual organs it has been used in the treatment of minor digestive complaints chest conditions and coughs as a pain killer and to treat rotten teeth it is still widely used as an herbal medicine in india it improves the liver function a general tonic to the old digestive system it is used in the treatment of flatulence and bloating reducing intestinal gas and relaxing the gut as a whole in india it is also used in the treatment of insomnia cold and fever and to improve milk production in nursing mothers ground into powder and mix it into a paste with onion juice it has been applied to scorpion stings the herb has been used externally as say poultices to relieve stitch and pains in the side the essential oil obtained from the seed is antibacterial and larvicidal the seed contains about 2.5% essential oil it is used in perfumery and for flavoring beverages thank you